What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy, Big Amp Dog, with another episode of Politicking. want to thank everybody for tuning in, showing your love, and uh, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amp Dog said, what's the deal? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for show, and today we got a definite, definite sick story. Uh, it's, it's, it's sad, too. You know, um, Chris Brown was sued um, for $20 million by a woman who claims he drugged and um, violated her on a yacht docked at Diddy Star Island um, home that he has, you know, big money shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, she alleges that he put something in her drink. She got all discombobulated. And then next thing you know, she was... uh, T- getting taken advantage of, and I want to. I want to just say before I get into this particular story that um, sexual assault, sexual abuse, um, anything that got to do with uh, taking something from somebody against their will is is definitely is a, it's a bad thing. It's wrong, and you should definitely be you know sent to that special place that they have that rhymes with jail, but it's just hot as hell, you know. So that's my take on it, but. To this particular story, this is a a prime example of how you shouldn't jump the gun. You know, we shouldn't jump the gun. You know, um, as we see a lot of a lot of people did with the Tory Lanez and and Meg Thee Stallion situation. You know what I'm saying? A man, a black man being accused, everybody jump on. Oh, he he had to do it, you know, because in some way, even our own people look at us the same way that we looked at as you know, by any other culture, you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyway, this situation, to me, it just exposes how jumping the gun is wrong and how damaging it could be to a person. You know, not necessarily just to a person of uh, Chris Brown's status, but um, just a person, period. The mental stress that it might put on a person, you know what I'm saying, to where you know you didn't do something that somebody's t- that somebody's accusing you of doing, but the world is already against you, you know what I'm saying. So I I kind of sympathize with him on that, you know. But anyway, it comes out that this girl was lying. In fact, Chris Brown or somebody allegedly leaked some photos. You know what I'm saying? Somebody leaked photos of uh, screenshots um, of text messages and uh, leaked and dropped a voice message uh, where she's basically is not what she said it was. And, you know, um, it's just messed up that it takes something like this, you know, um, and I'm sure he probably could have been had somebody anonymously leak this, these things. But, you know, I, I don't know. But anyway. Basically, you know, she says that after he assaulted her, this is the what she initially said. After she, after he assaulted her, um, he he ejaculated and said he done and got on, and told her to get. And then next day or something like that, she said he told her to get a plan B. So, in the string of text messages uh, from uh, you know after the the uh, they, she's anonymous for some reason. Uh, maybe she should be you know, put on the forefront and, and, and embarrassed like how he was, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, back in December, 2020, and they continued several months, you know what I'm saying? After that, you know, as far as after the alleged incident. Um, so in the text messages, Chris tells the woman she should take a plan B pill after their encounter. And she responds that she will. And as I want to F you tonight at midnight, LOL. That don't sound like somebody who got some slid in her drink and had a horrible time and and things like that. This sounds like um a thirsty maybe a fan. That's probably where he messed up at. You know, she was honestly a, a fan that probably played it cool in that first encounter and meeting him like, oh, he ain't nobody, he just regular Chris Brown. I've been around celebrities, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever the case may be. Maybe she played her role the way that she had to to get where she was. You know what I'm saying? But after months she said she and Chris apparently talked about meeting up again, uh, but they never did. And now you y'all get kind of where the story's going after this, right? So they had that encounter. Tell her get a plan B. She says she will. She want to do it again. They didn't talk for months later. And then after that, they uh, pretty much 
talked about meeting up again. The woman starts sending new photos. At this point, she probably got a boyfriend somewhere, a, a fiance, a husband, probably. Like, she probably, like, because she being real thirsty. Most most women are like that, but only to, like, like that's something that, that, that you will get from somebody that you got a commitment from. You know what I'm saying? You don't get me wrong. If you, you, know saying, you might be in a sliding situation, but, you know, I'm just saying. Just for her throwing it out there like that, she clearly trying to go live her best life. The second one, the second best life. You know, she probably got double lives. I don't know. But she said, you were honestly the best D I've ever had. And I just want it again. Now, I said earlier, y'all see where this is going, right? So we see where this is going. We can see the writing's on the wall. This is writing on the wall. And right after that, she said, why are you playing with me, LOL? Then sent the 22-second voice message. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, this is like I said a couple seconds ago, we all know where this is going. So she's begging for it. She feeling played at this point because that's how it goes. This goes from, mm, I did what I did to try to get what I can get out of this situation. And then, boom, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. But the, the sad truth of it all is... Um, even then, you know what I'm saying? You got to you got to understand that it's wrong. It's wrong to try to have sex with this man to try to have an ulterior motive, right? Just as like it's wrong for him to F you and then get on, right? Everybody going to feel played in this situation. You know what I'm saying? When you just, you know, messing around with people, you know? Each his own. But anyway, she said, you knew full well I was impressing you about no D. You told me to stay and then going to try to play me? Question mark. Now, nah, that's crazy. I didn't deserve that, but you definitely got it. That's a threat. And I hate to sound like this, but at this point, this is more than likely a woman of the culture, the hip hop culture. You know, the ones that's that's talking that, that shit. Because she definitely, that's a threat, but you definitely got it. And what we see now, we see it. Oh, you're going to sue me. You're going to try to accuse me of something that you know could be detrimental to him. He already got a history, so it could be detrimental to him. You know what I'm saying? And then she leave a voicemail. I just want to see you again. Just let me know. If you want me to leave you alone, I will. But I, I really just want to F you. I just really want to F the, sh the sh S out of you. Again, that's crazy for a woman that's accusing this man. In the same way, I, I get that he's a, he's going he's gonna to sue her, um, but I wish it was some type of way that she could be held criminally accountable. Because you blatantly just lied. You know what I'm saying? And, and so what my boy Chris Brown responds to, you know, he, he, he says... No more dragging me through the mud. Clearly, you can all see the cat. Now, let's see if the media will keep that same energy they had trying to destroy me to run the real story. Me and my team are taking legal action on this situation. You don't play with people's lives like that. Thanks, Team Breezy. And I totally agree with him. I totally agree with him. Because I ain't do no, I ain't talk about it because you got to wait on facts like this. You got to wait to things come out and, and things are discovered. And, 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 and don't, by the way, the investigation is still ongoing. They didn't just get these messages and see how it is. Like, it's still going on. So maybe something is, you know, probably did happen. I don't know. Maybe there's more messages. Who knows? But at this point, just keeping it off of what she accused them of and what, what we see now after the fact, ah. That's not nobody, you know, and don't get me wrong. Let me, let me clarify this. You could be consensual with a person on many encounters and, 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 and choose not to be on one and say no, and they could take advantage. And that's, that's, that's violation. That's rape. You feel me? So I, I, I don't know their circumstances or their situation, but to me, it just seems like with that last piece that, but you definitely got it. Boy, that is a threat. Whether your windows gonna get busted, whether something gonna happen, and you gotta take that. Cause she said you gonna try to play me, bruh. I don't know, but anyway, man, y'all hit that like. No, no, no. Matter of fact, hit that like button after this. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button right now. You feel me? Cause uh, 
you know, he said another key thing that I really thought was dope. You know what I'm saying? As far as what, what the timing of it all is. I hope y'all see this pattern of cap. Whenever I'm releasing music or projects, they try to pull some real bullshit. And I'm not saying that that's probably the case because somebody like Chris Breezy, um, I mean, I know he's probably making hella money, you know, at this point in his career with these labels, but he really don't need the labels, you know what I'm saying, to to have to deal with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? His fans going to speak for him. But yeah, there is always some type of allegation. There's always some type of drama. There's always some type of police police report, uh, jail uh, records, um, um, cooperation with the with the law enforcement paperwork, uh, uh, baby mama issues popping up, uh, all kind of shit. Oh, you used to work at a fast food restaurant, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to say, you know, um, it is possible. You know, that was a that was another key point, because if you really do pay attention to a lot of things, when you hear about somebody doing something um, that's going to be, you know, monumental or culture changing, uh, culture progressive, you know what I'm saying? You always do see it's some tugs to try to pull that away. So um, anyway, man, like, share, subscribe. Drop y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Is they trying to do my boy Chris Breezy? Is they trying to do him dirty? Is they trying to do him dirty? What y'all think, man? Is they trying to put my boy through the blender? You know what I'm saying? Is they trying to do that to my boy C. Breezy? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, make sure y'all uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Big Amdar said, what's the deal? And uh, rest in peace to my little brother, Reek. Peace.